Number 15, hashtag Pablo Shocker. In 2013, a British ad designed to be a PSA for drunk driving went totally viral. The 52 second long video features drunk bar goers being scared sober by a surprise that jumps from the mirror. The men wash their hands or fix their hair at the sink, and according to those controlling the whole scheme, if they seem drunk enough, a fake woman's head crashes through the mirror, shattering it and leaving blood draining from her forehead. The victims of this message usually jump back or fall down in terror, and then move forward to examine exactly what they're seeing. A scare like this is likely to sober them up a bit, but the message behind the scare is more important than anything. The whole idea of this is to create the illusion that the woman is actually jumping through a car windshield as a drunk driver hit her. It presents a stark reality to those drinkers and makes them think twice before getting into their car drunk. Many drinkers know of the dangers of drunk driving, but having something this up front in your face has a much bigger impact than just those usual warnings we see in media. Not only did these drunk men probably realize they shouldn't be drinking behind the wheel, many viewers of this viral ad got the same idea when they saw how terrifying this image was. Despite the prop head being clearly fake, the jump of it and the blood trickling down is still pretty scarring and it's unlikely to ever be forgotten. The short was produced by Leo Burnett for England's Department of Transport Think campaign. According to recent statistics, a person dies every 48 minutes due to drunk driving. That's about 30 deaths a day and that's just in the US. Number 14, Levi's Evolution. This Levi's commercial from the early 1970s actually wasn't considered totally terrifying at the time. It was apparently a very popular commercial as this flowing and looped art style was very popular during the time period, especially in music videos. However, by today's standards, there's something pretty unsettling about this trippy commercial and its strange imagery. The Levi's commercial is meant to advertise multiple products and styles in one commercial, which was quite unique for advertising at the time. The video is a flowing and ever-changing depiction of not only their products, but humanoid creatures as well. The ad starts with a conch cell, out of which swims a koi fish with a human face, which then becomes a smoking caterpillar wearing bell-bottom jeans on human legs, and so on. Then where would he wear Levi's day press slacks, or Levi's fashion jeans? Would he put Levi's herringbone on his fins? Levi's stripes on his wings? With Dacron polyester. Dacron polyester. What would he put in the pockets of our day press bush jeans? The idea presented is the evolution of man, from bacteria and shells to full-on humans, except that regular human faces are thrown onto each stage of evolution, along with a pair of genes. As if these human-animal hybrids aren't creepy enough, the whole thing is narrated by a very deep, aged, and terrifying voice, the kind of narration that wasn't uncommon for the era, but was still fairly terrifying. The same voice was featured in several other Levi's ads, such as Stranger, but here it has a godlike echoing horror to it. By the end of the commercial, we see some relief with two human males using the original conch cell as some sort of football. It doesn't last long before one of them fans their legs up and rolls back into the shell. <laughs> Men, we're glad you walk on two legs. Otherwise, you'd never get the chance to wear a pair of Levi's. This commercial has gone down in history as one of Levi's most disturbing ads, but they can't be doing too bad if they're still profiting after all these years. Number 13, The Undeading. Published in October 2012 by the Heart and Stroke Foundation, this commercial features a woman in a post-apocalyptic zombie wasteland fighting to survive. The Halloween-themed commercial was filled with disgusting rotting corpses chasing this woman through dead city streets as well as some pretty cool gory fight scenes. This woman suffers a heart attack during her fight to stay alive and not be eaten. The creepy and grotesque zombies immediately went into rescue mode and began to save the woman's life. A zombie dressed as a doctor calls 911 while another living corpse performs CPR. As this happens, tips for saving someone from a heart attack or stroke come on screen.
This video seems innocent enough, just the foundation's fun way of getting everyone into the spirit of Halloween and saving lives. But things get pretty dark when the woman awakens from her state and peers at the zombies that just saved her life, then gets eaten. Yeah, after the zombies put in all that work to save her, we find out it's just because they wanted her fresh when they devoured her. Of all the ways this commercial could have ended, the creators chose a pretty morbid way of doing it. On the bright side, this video led to a huge event in which over 5,000 people were CPR trained. Number 12. Phones for You This commercial was part of a Halloween-themed series for the phone company Phones for You, which isn't that scary in itself. But if you're watching TV late at night and you're unaware of the scary deals that are happening, you might be given a bit of a scare. This ad was published in 2011 during the series and it features a woman alone in a parking garage, presumably after shopping at the mall. There's a quick shot of a very creepy little girl in a dirty white dress with long black hair and pale skin. The woman walking through the garage immediately feels a presence and begins running to her car. She manages to get into her car and the creepy little ghost pops up on her window and says hello in a very ghostly, echoing voice. She then proceeds to tell the woman about an amazing deal at Phones For You. Perhaps the scariest part of this commercial is the chilling voice the ghost has. Hello. The Samsung Toko icon is only $59.95 on pay as you go. Phones for you. Missing our tails will haunt you. Imagining this on TV in the middle of the night as someone is working on their laptop or trying to fall asleep is pretty terrifying. It's also a little unfair as the viewer probably wasn't expecting this during their favorite late night talk show. Other ads in the series feature a creepy old man chasing someone through the woods, and though these are pretty weird, they're also pretty unique. The tagline for the series was, Missing our deals will haunt you. Number 11. Japanese Tire Commercial Japan is well known for their horror and their female ghosts. It's pretty much the Japanese coin for horror entertainment. This tire company used that to their advantage with this tire ad. One of the biggest points of advertising is to make your viewers remember your commercials. And there's no doubts the viewers won't forget this one for a very long time. The commercial begins on a snowy road in the middle of the night, looking through a dash cam of some sort. As the driver travels down the long road, a white figure can be seen in the distance. As the car approaches, it's clear that the figure is a woman. The car begins to back away as the driver is probably concerned about the ghostly figure in the middle of the road, but then all of a sudden the woman jumps right onto her windshield in a perfectly executed jump scare. It can be supposed that she was a victim of a hit and run caused by faulty tires, but of course, that's just speculation. Overall, this commercial is pretty terrifying, and again, very unfair to unsuspecting viewers. Imagine this coming on in between a late night show and you're uncertain what you're looking at until a ghost pops right up and scares the ever-living shit out of you. Props to this company for making an unforgettable ad that was probably talked about for months on end though. Number 10, Kinder Surprise Commercial of Nightmares. Do I have to talk about this one? This commercial comes from the late 80s when Kinder decided the best spokesperson for their surprise eggs was Humpty Dumpty. Kinder surprise eggs are chocolate eggs that open up to reveal small toys or prizes inside. This commercial is literally so unsettling that it's hard to watch, yet somehow it became very popular as a meme with several remakes and remixes made after it. The Humpty Dumpty creature looks more like an egg-shaped obese elderly man than an actual egg. His facial expressions are scary realistic, and its voice is strangely haunting as well. Kinda, you both shaky. Me on Scrabbly. He unwraps the egg and shrieks, and then is even more surprised to find a toy inside the chocolate egg. Chocolate dooby, doubly chocolate dooby, pop swabble. 
toy. At least they got the surprise factor down for their product. But the Humpty Dumpty creature is pure nightmare fuel. Seriously, did this company think their best bet was to scar children for life? I can't think of a single kid in the world who would find this cute or amusing and not at least a little chilling. The worst part of this commercial is a very short scene where the camera is zoomed in very closely to Humpty's eyes when he blinks. He goes from a creepy human-like egg to an unidentifiable humanoid creature that is sure to haunt your nightmares. This is one Humpty Dumpty that we all hope falls down. Oh, and by the way, he does fall down. He throws his hands up to cheer and just falls backwards into a scene that we can only assume isn't full of eggshells, but is instead blood and guts. Surprise! Yodel yum and choco scrum with multi pop bubble dies! Oh, grubby! He's gruber now! Choco, whee! Number 9 Fragile Childhood Monsters this commercial is another PSA aimed to alerting the masses of a very serious and life-threatening issue. The ad was created and published by Fragile Childhood, which is a foundation that was started in 1986. According to their website, Fragile Childhood has persistently sought new and efficient methods to secure a least troubled life for children suffering from their parents' substance abuse. This PSA is not only very touching and a perfect example of what this organization works towards, it's also quite terrifying. It's common for PSAs to be scary in a sense because their aim is to really shake the minds of its target audience. This particular PSA takes that shaking to a whole new level. It can be assumed that the target audience for this is parents suffering from substance abuse problems, but pretty much anyone unlucky enough to view this commercial is bound to be haunted by it. The ad begins with several children in different settings looking towards an unknown character in fear, anger, and disgust. At first, it is uncertain who these glances are aimed towards. One scene features a sad little girl fiddling with a milkshake and looking off into the distance. As the camera takes the scene from another angle, we see the character whom she is upset with and it's a very large, terrifying rabbit. The puppet-like rabbit has bulging eyes, sharp protruding teeth, and wiry hair. The previous scenes of children walking or playing brings the audience to other terrifying, monstrous creatures such as a pale hooded figure, a woman resembling a zombie with one eye hanging out of its socket, a bloody elderly clown, a decaying Santa Claus, and a man wearing a pantyhose mask. <laughs> A message pops up reading, how do our children see us when we've been drinking? It becomes clear that these monsters are a child's personification of their parents' alcoholism. The ad is sure to make any parent think twice and may even urge non-parents to work with fragile childhood in their efforts to better the lives of children. These childhood-derived monsters are very unsettling, and they prey on fears of children which most viewers can relate to from their younger years. Knowing that these monsters are actually their parents is surely sad, but also adds another aura of horror. Number 8. Ronald McDonald Debut There's nothing too out of the ordinary for this commercial. Dated from 1963, this is the official debut of Ronald McDonald, the well-loved mascot for the fast food burger chain McDonald's. The clip was published on YouTube back in 2008 and was really brought into fame in 2011. This depiction of Ronald McDonald is much different from the one we see today. He wears a cup as a nose and a food tray as a hat. It's clear that the original goal was to have a clown costume that highly resembled aspects of fast food dining. Despite this brilliant idea, the creation that occurred looks more like a haunted scarecrow than a human dressed as a clown. But for those who have a deep fear of clowns, this creature still looks enough like a freaky shide so to give you nightmares for a week. Ronald! Ronald! Hey Ronald! 
Here I am, kid. Hey, isn't watching TV fun? Especially when you got delicious McDonald's hamburgers. Ronald, you can't be on TV and watch it at the same time. Now come on and meet the boys and girls. Oh, we've already met. I know we're gonna be- Towards the end of the commercial, Ronald's Bell produces a tray holding a burger, fries, and a drink. I know we're gonna be friends too, cause I like to do everything boys and girls like to do. Especially when it comes to eating those delicious McDonald's hamburgers. A magic tray here keeps me well supplied. McDonald's hamburgers, french fries, and milkshakes. Watch for me on TV. We'll have lots of fun. This imaginary, of course, has caused some viewers to question if there was any sexual nature behind this, but it's likely that this was just the most convenient way to work the meal into the outfit. The actor that portrayed the clown was Willard Scott, who later grew to fame as the weatherman of today on NBC. Even without the makeup, and all these years later, you can still see a scary resemblance. Throughout the years, good old Mickey D's has had its share of scary commercials, questionable ads, psycho Happy Meal boxes, and of course, several different designs for their popular clown. But this original portrayal seems to take the cake because it has that old 60s found footage aura to it that makes the already unsettling clown even more nightmarish. Number 7. Bad Breath Kills this commercial takes the idea of the Holocaust and dictator-controlled countries to advertise their mouthwash. It has gained plenty of backlash from viewers as it seems to make the light of very serious historical events. Politics aside though, this commercial is pretty terrifying simply for the way it depicts a dictatorship. A young man is pulled away by guards and led to a dark grey rundown and damp chamber. It's very clear that this is a play on the gas chambers of the Holocaust that killed millions. This victim is apparently being sentenced to this gas chamber for his crimes of bad breath. As he is strapped into a seat that resembles an electric chair, the giant cement door is slammed and sealed as a small crowd watches in horror. The leader raises up a hand which signals for vents to be opened, and through these vents mouths filled with greenish yellow teeth open wide and let out ghastly breath. The idea is that this prisoner is being tortured by horrible breath from several disgusting mouths. The depiction of gas chambers, the grotesque mouths, and the slow opera music playing over the scene makes this scene more like a historical reenactment of hell. As the scene ends, the message, Bad Breath Kills, Frieza Kills Bad Breath, comes on screen. Number 6. The Heart She Holler Adult Swim has always been known for its late night terrifying ads and specials such as unedited footage of a bear, crooked rot, and several of the dark infomercials that air around 4am. It seems that the network loves to prey on those night owls barely dozing off. This ad in particular is probably amongst some of Adult Swim's most terrifying work. The 30 second commercial features a pale white woman laughing hysterically. She has white hair, totally whited out eyes, and dark red lips which frame rotting teeth. Her laugh seems to get worse and worse as the ad goes on and a blood splatter starts to form which spells out, The Heart She Holler. This is of course the title for an Adult Swim series, and this ghostly woman is Mima from the show. The Heart She Holler is a dark comedy that has been labeled as Southern Gothic. The series itself is full of pretty unsettling imagery, but this ad completely wins for being overall terrifying, especially considering that it probably aired very late at night. <laughs> Number 5. Dark and Lonely Water Again, this PSA aims to scare its viewers into remembering the message it's sending out. The only problem here is that this commercial's audience was mostly young children and those that remember the ad claim it affected them deeply for several years following. 
The ad features a cloaked figure, likely meant to resemble the Reaper. A slow and creepy narration explains that this is the spirit of dark and lonely water. I am the spirit of dark and lonely water, ready to trap the unwary, the show-off, the fool. And this is the kind of place you'd expect to find me. This figure hangs out near open bodies of water where children play. The first child is reaching for a ball that fell into a pond of some kind, and the figure is off in the distance just before the child falls in and assumably drowns. But no one expects to find me here. It seems too ordinary. But that pool is deep. The boy is showing off. The bank is slippery. The next child is doing something similar, hanging from a tree branch to try to reach something in the water. Off in the horizon, we can see the figure again, right before the child falls into the water. But the unwary ones are easier still. This branch is weak, rotten. It'll never take his way. In the last sequence of the ad, a child is drowning in a body of water behind a dump site despite a large sign that reads no swimming. However, in this case, the child is apparently saved by friends. The figure disappears after saying, Sensible children, I have no power over them, leaving its cloak behind. Oh, look, there's someone in the water. Quick, use that big stick to get him out. Sensible children. I have no power over them. A young girl walks up and throws the cloak into the water, to which the spirit explains, I'll be back, in a haunting and echoing voice. Even if the children watching this commercial didn't understand the references of death or the narration, they would likely make a connection between water and this terrifying figure, which would keep them away from water. Well, that was the aim of this PSA. It was also not brought through in a very educational way. It's more of an artistic approach rather than an outright explanation. Of course, plenty of children likely avoided drowning because of being scared away from water, but they were also haunted for several years of their young lives. Even seeing this as an adult is pretty creepy because of the aged quality. Number 4. Baby Secret Every couple of years, we are blessed to see a new toy for children enter the market that either is completely ridiculous on its own, or it has a horrible commercial that comes with it. From the doll that laughs like a demon, to the doll that poops like a human, all the way to the internationally feared Furbies, toy companies just seem to keep having public blunders. This particular baby doll was released in 1965 and was called the Baby Secret Doll. The idea was that little girls could share their secrets with the adorable doll, and in return the doll would also share its secrets. The idea doesn't sound so bad, but unfortunately there's no ways to avoid making a whispering doll creepy. The baby's doll's lips would actually move as it whispered phrases such as, I want to tell you something, I can only tell you my secrets, and other generic phrases for the Mattel's new baby secret. She whispers just to you. <laughs> Her lips really move. I want to tell you something. It's almost unbelievable. Get my over the years, not only has this commercial gained popularity for being one of the creepiest doll ideas ever patented, but also for past owners of Baby Secret to share some terrifying tales of the whispering doll. People have shared stories that the doll would often say phrases and then never say them again. The thought of the doll would keep them up at night as they thought every whisper in the night was the baby trying to communicate. And of course, there are tales of the owners finding recording devices in the doll, but there's been no proof of that one. While there haven't been any crazy archived cases of the doll killing entire families, it's pretty easy to picture something like that happening. The best thing that toy companies can do is just stop making talking dolls. Not only are they terrifying on their own, the media has twisted talking and moving dolls into adorable little things from hell. Number 3. Halloween Candy October 31st is the one day of the year where we can all walk around and have fun dressed up as whatever we want. The whole month is also a great source of revenue for companies of all kinds. As many of us know from our childhoods, candy companies make the biggest profit off of the holiday, right next to horror films and costume companies. Not only do homeowners flood their local supermarkets to get pounds of candy for the adorable neighborhood monsters that go door to door, but people throwing Halloween parties get in on the candy as well. 
And let's not forget the day after sales when all the hungover bumblebees, sexy nurses, and taco suit wearing adults go in for their annual fix of cheap chocolate. With this kind of money pouring into the banks of Hershey's, Mars, and other candy empires, you think they didn't need to post ads to remind consumers that candy is the stable of the costume holiday. Apparently Snickers felt the need for this horrific ad though. The idea was that two kids are dressed as an old woman when they meet a neighbor of theirs to remind her that the neighborhood kids love Snickers. The ghastly costume duo then begin to dump pounds of Snickers into the woman's shopping basket as she looks on in horror. She finally manages to walk away and one child peeps through the robe and says, we are definitely going to her house. Again, the concept itself wasn't too harmful. In fact, it's a pretty cute commercial aside from the absolutely terrifying costume that these children decided to use. First of all, their heights combined create a totally towering and well-built old woman that seems to have trouble balancing. The clothing they use seem dirty and old, like something they borrowed from their grandma that has been dead for five years. Hello, Mrs. Jensen. You don't have any Snickers in your shopping cart. The neighborhood kids love Snickers on Halloween. Let me help you. Oh, uh. And that mask? That mask is like an imitation of drag makeup from Satan's nightclub. Plus, the kids' eyes peering through the holes of the mask make it even worse. Overall, this costume was scarring, but maybe that's the point. Halloween is all about having fun while being scary at the same time, which seems to be exactly what this commercial did. Number 2. The Judder Man This commercial is so unsettling that it has managed to win the title of scariest TV commercial of all time in the UK, and it landed as number 31 in the 100 greatest scary TV moments. The commercial begins with what appears to be a puppet show, where the puppets not only make very jerky movements, but are also depicted pretty scary as well. The commercial then follows an elf-like man with spiky white hair that seems to haunt the forest in the winter. He pretty much resembles Jack Frost. He comes upon an unsuspecting traveler and convinces him to drink a Metz. The traveler then turns to a puppet, all the while a poem is being read over the screen by a young woman. Pretty much everything in this commercial is creepy, from the art style, to the story, to the makeup, to the narration. Basically, the only way to understand this one is to have a look yourself. And sharpened one said that. Beware the Jadder man, my dear, when the moon is fat. Jadder with the immense oak schnapps. Number 1. PS3 Baby Again, here we see a truly creepy commercial involving a baby doll. As if dolls aren't creepy enough when they're sitting silently in the corner, the media manages to make them even more chilling every day. This ad for the PlayStation 3 features an empty white room with a PS3 on one end and a naked baby doll on the other end. The doll is sitting upright and is facing the console directly. The camera zooms in towards the baby, then closer to the console before cutting quickly backwards towards the doll who opens its eyes abruptly. The doll then opens its mouth and lets out a simple baby blah blah noise. Then the commercial starts to quickly pick up as the doll lifts an arm, laughs, and blinks quickly. The movements the doll makes are very lifelike and it's clear the plastic infant is sending it so we've already met a horrifying peak to this ad. The baby's mouth moves in unnatural movements and several noises come out of it such as manly psychotic laughs. Tears fall from the doll's eyes as warfare can be seen in their reflection. The tears are sucked back into the eyes and the baby says mama as we see the PS3 floating from the ground. <laughs> Thanks for checking out this countdown. Be sure to subscribe as we upload new videos every week. 
It'd really mean a lot if you join the notification squad by clicking this gear button, checking this box, and then clicking save. See ya.